Ibuvel, um, it is day one of isolation, and I have two days to finish this video on Bluevale in the 70s. But I've come to realize that I know absolutely nothing about Bluevale in the 70s, or Bluevale in particular, just anything, I don't know anything about Bluevale. Thank God it's 2020 and I can use this thing called Google. All right, let's see, Bluevale, Let's go to the Wikipedia page. Hmm. The school opened in 1972 under the direction of Robert Chilton. Hmm, do you think he's still alive? How many years ago was 1972? It was 48 years ago. How long did the average human live? The worldwide average life expectancy is about 72.6 years. Those are terrible odds that this guy is still alive. Doctor. Yo. Yo. <laughs> How do I talk to someone who was alive in 1972? Well, there'd only be one option, and it'd be time travel. Wait, you're on to something. Okay, hold on, bye. Wait, so I googled it, and time travel is apparently not po- oh. What? Where? Where am I? What? Mom? Yeah? You weren't supposed to answer. Answer what? <laughs> I'm supposed to be alone in the time travel- oh. Wait, next time I call mom, just don't answer. Okay. Do, do you know why? Mom. <laughs> Mom. Yes. No, eat the Mom? Mom. Where is everyone? Mom. What is that? Siri, what's the date? It is October 24th, 1972. Yeah, so apparently it's 1972. Thought she was right. I don't know how to get back. Okay, so I guess I'm going to interview Robert. Um, do I need anything? Mask, where's my, oh, wait. Are we even in a pandemic? Okay guys, so I'm on my way to Mr. Chilton's um, house. Um, the radio will only play 70s. Mom, you can't be in. Okay, so the radio will, okay. Um, I'm sorry if you can't hear me. The wind in this convertible is really just, it's a lot to handle. Um, so as you can see, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I'm lost. I'm, and apparently they didn't have Google Maps in 1972. I'm using the Premier World Atlas. I have no idea what an atlas is. Where does he live? Hey, book, where does Robert Chilton live? I gotcha. Okay, so I finally made it to his apartment building. Um, who knew they had apartment buildings in 1972? But I'll see you on the way out. My name is Bob Chilton, and I was the first principal of Bluebell Collegiate. Uh, the school opened in 1972. Biggest difference would be the staff. Yeah. It'd be all turned over. There wouldn't be any of the originals there, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, another big difference is that the building has been improved. Yeah, 100%. The building was one of the worst designed for the purposes of Ontario credit system that I can imagine. And uh, they've improved a lot. The craziest thing a kid ever did was streaked down the assembly um, early in our history. Okay. <laughs> that was the craziest thing. 
That was the craziest. So okay. we gave him some time off. This is just a guess, like about 840 or so. 840 to, yeah. to what? 840 and the last class would be about 340. Wait, did you say nine periods in one day? Yeah. Is that, did that used to be at Budo? That was the norm, yeah. Oh, because now, because normally we have four. Remember, you took them all year. And there were nine periods, sometimes, by the way, even 10, if you had a problem working them all in. There were 40 minute periods, and, that, and you had nine, and sometimes 10, but usually nine. That's crazy. What's Snapchat before I end? <laughs> Blueville is now and was a very athletic school. They had teams such as basketball, golf, Four. Skiing. Badminton. Hockey. Ping pong. Tennis. Blueville also had many clubs, such as the Drama Club, Debate Club, Fed Prov, Geography Club, Advertising Club, Language Club, Tech Crew, Stage Band, even a school newspaper. In October, they had the Miss Oktoberfest pageant. There was truly something for everyone at Blueville, no matter what you were interested in. And if you weren't interested in anything, you could create a club. Blueville even had a math team. Like, I'm not kidding. Okay, okay, hold on, I have to go full screen. Okay, so how should I end this video? Um, I should be like, all right, Blueville, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed my video on Blueville in the 70s. Hope you learned a thing or two about it and the similarities and differences that these years had. It's going to be all for me. Have a great day, Blueville. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Bluebell, what he said. Peace.